Should we get the boxes? Yeah, get the boxes. Am I live? Yeah. Oh, I'm live. Oh, Hello. good afternoon, FitFab. You're in for a special treat today. How many of us would love a big bowl of ice cream, but we know that ice cream is considered junk food? Well, the sugar in ice cream is great on the lips, but forever on the hips. And what about us, us that are lactose intolerant? We can never eat ice cream? Well, with Chapman's No Sugar Added Ice Cream, you can cut your sugar consumption, continue to eat your favorite treat, and feel guilt-free. And as an added bonus, their line of No Sugar Added Ice Cream is also lactose-free. And it's so delicious and creamy, you'll never know what's missing. If you prefer your treat on the go, you can reach for their No Sugar Added Vanilla Cones or sandwiches. And watch us today as we review their top four No Sugar Added Ice Cream. All right, Neri, I'm super excited to do this one because as you know I eat ice cream every single night yes and I post a photo and a lot of people are like how are you eating ice cream every single night well here is my hack okay now let's define what's a treat versus what's a cheat okay so for me a treat would be this mm -hmm. this is a treat this is something that I can treat myself every single day mm -hmm. obviously if I eat the whole thing it's gonna be a problem now right. what do you define as a cheat um, I find a cheat is something that makes me feel guilty, like extremely <laughs> guilty, or I feel extremely bloated, or feel like I have to offset what I just ate. Okay. So this cone is yes. from Chapman's as well. Yes. Okay. So this to me would be a cheat meal. The yes. reason why is because the sugars are 23 grams. There's 34 grams of carbohydrates, uh, one gram of fiber. So pretty much it's like high carb, high sugar. Mm -hmm. Now the difference between that and this bar, the no, no sugar added uh, Chapman's bar is it's still 34 grams of carbohydrates. That's French. 34 grams of carbohydrates, only four grams of sugar. So we're talking 23 grams of sugar for their regular bar and you're talking four grams of sugar for this bar now here's the best thing about it is that it's got sugar alcohols so your body doesn't process sugar alcohols like it does this regular sugar and so when it comes to that you would take 13 divided by 2 so that'd be six you minus six grams from the net carbohydrates then you would take the one gram of fiber and subtract that from the net carbohydrates. So your net carbohydrates for this versus this are significantly different. So then what is the number for net carbs on the no sugar added one? So it'd be 34 minus six and then minus 20, one. 20, so 27? 27 grams okay. versus this one is just 34 straight up grams of of, of carbohydrates. Right, from sugar. Right? So we're gonna put this one back. To me that'd be a cheat. Now I've tried both and honestly like they taste very identical, okay? Actually, okay. we'll pull that one out. Okay. So what I'm gonna get you to do, Neri, is I'm gonna get you to take one of these and open this guy up, okay? okay. We're also gonna do my nightly treat that I, like, I'm like. i super excited to come home for and after my dinner where I don't feel guilty. So number one is this Krizda granulated stevia. So I got this from amazon.ca. It's super cheap, it's under 10 bucks for this big bag. Now remember, there's a significant difference between the granulated stevia and the organic stevia, okay? So this one is like, it feels like sugar, right? So crunchy. It's crunchy, yeah. I like it because it gives you that, that, that sugary taste, right? Now with this one, it's more powder. So this is more potent mm -hmm. because it's 100% pure. Whereas this one could only be about 20% and then the rest is just uh, the stevia leaf extract. So you can see it's mixed with urethrol, right? right? Which is a sugar alcohol, so that's zero carbs as well. And then it's stevia leaf extract, whereas this one, is 100% stevia from the leaf, right? Organic stevia from the leaf, okay? So it's a big difference. Then we got the Chris the chocolate chips. And again, it's got nine net grams of carbohydrates and it's got five, it's got five grams of fiber. So uh, nine minus five. That's four. Four, and then minus, so it's two sugar alcohols. Remember you divide that by right. two, so one. So nine minus five minus one. So it's three. three. So you're looking at three grams of net carbohydrates for this, okay? And just like the fiber alone, a lot of people would actually consider that a meal. Now, the thing I really love too, and I actually got this from you because you put salt <laughs> on your Neri's bars, is I love the kosher salt. So I got the, I got the sweet and the savory, okay? So these are, these are the three things that you want to make sure that you have on hand, okay? This is about 10 bucks. This is about 10 bucks. I mean, it's like two bucks, right? 
Okay, so the first thing I want to do, let's go to the bars first. Um, open this guy up. Okay. Open that guy up. And then we're going to open up the, the other Chapmans. Now, the difference between the two is pricing as well. So this is probably for a case of... 12, you're looking at maybe like I'll five, say, six bucks. I'll say about seven. It's pretty cheap, seven right? You can go to Costco, you can get a giant box of bars. Uh, these ones work out to be about a buck each. That's at Sobeys. Sometimes you can get them cheaper at Superstore. Uh, Sobeys seems to be the one that stocks up on it. And today they're actually fully stocked. So let's just open it up, okay? So we, right away we see. They look the same. They look almost oh, exactly almost. the same, okay? We're the gonna Chapman's make a bit of a mess. full sugar had lots of chocolate balls. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing is that I don't know if the chocolate, these chocolate balls and these chocolate balls are the exact same. So let's try that out first, okay? So. Tastes the same to me. Tastes almost exactly the same. All right, so bite into that bar. <laughs> little bite, little bite. So right away, I notice density. This one tastes a little bit more fuller and more dense. This one tastes a little bit light, lighter. Fluffier. So it's like, yeah, that one's like a, like a full fat cream. That's mm -hmm. what it tastes like. And this one tastes more like a whipping cream. So it's right? more airy, yeah. More airy, that's exactly it. So, but otherwise, I think the cone, everything, honestly, like I wouldn't notice if you gave me these two bars outside of the, 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 the lightness, I wouldn't know the difference between it the two. It looks the same. In fact, I lost which one's which. I think <laughs> this one's got chocolate this in the inside. This is the no sugar one because it's caramel. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, so, this is the sugar, the full that's sugar That's the sugar one. one. That's yeah. what I thought. Okay, so, yeah, that one's got uh, the caramel on the inside, and this one's got chocolate on the inside. So we need uh, Jerome to eat these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the bar. Those are the um, the cones. I prefer the cones over the bar uh, for the sake that it's it, it actually provides a little bit more fuller taste. Like I actually feel like I'm sitting there eating an ice cream cone, mm -hmm. right? Now the thing I really like about these, especially if I'm on like a cheap meal, is that I can have two of those and then they'd be equivalent to one of the regular ones, right? right. So I'm all about volume. I'd rather eat two bars that equal the same as one bar. Right mm -hmm. to sacrifice a little bit of taste. I don't taste any of like the um, like what it's sweetened with, right? So what is it sweetened with? Sweetened with uh, sucralose. It says malatol, sorbitol, and sucralose. Yeah. So I honestly I can't there's taste no it. There's no aftertaste. Yeah. Aftertaste. People people always say, say there's like a bitter aftertaste. Go ahead, try that out. Look at that. That's a bite, you know. <laughs> so. So again, the ice cream is a little bit airy. Mm -hmm. I find that the uh, the chocolatey taste, it doesn't last as long as if I were, were to bite in a bar, like a regular bar, like if I got what you know another one. But again, these are half the carbs, like 25% of the sugar. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of these. I would rather go and buy an ice cream bar and have an ice cream bar, but I find that they're just like way too much sugar, way too much carbs. What do you think about it? I like it because I'm a big fan of ice cream sandwiches and I do agree that the ice cream portion was light mm -hmm. and fluffy so it's not as dense or satisfying. However, I do like that chocolate taste so I think it's a win for me. Okay, and with any of this ice cream, you have to, if you take it out, like that's why I'm trying to rush through this, they will melt very quickly. Oh, I know. I don't know if it's because there's like no sugar in there or uh, that there's no dairy, right? So these are lactose free, like you said in the intro. Uh, there's very, I think they're 99% dairy free. So it, like you can see, it's already melting, right? So I'll just give you a little bit. We'll just try it on its own. And as you can see, like this has been sitting in the freezer and it's, you know, you could stab right into that. Whereas regular ice cream, you know, you got to get in there with an actual ice cream scooper, right? So the vanilla, what do you think? I really like it. Again, it's, it's lighter, Yeah. but the sweetness is on point. It's not too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't taste an aftertaste at all. It, it tastes like real ice cream to me. Yeah. All right, so we go with the chocolate. Now I like the chocolate, because most of the time when you get these products, 
they taste like cocoa, right? Mm -hmm. They're like sweetened with cocoa, naturally sweetened with cocoa, and you're like, yeah, I can taste the cocoa. And then it tastes like dry or bitter, whereas with the chocolate, like I don't get that at all. Um, no, it's not It's not very strong, but it tastes, it tastes really good to me. It has enough chocolate flavor in there. Yeah. Um, it's subtle, it's nice, I like it. Now we've tried those, um, what are they called? The, the the new ones that came out with the protein ice cream. Oh and yeah, we've we've had like Arctic ice um, Halo Top. Halo Top, right? So the Halo Top where they have like a little bit of protein in them. This has three grams of protein for a half a cup. And if you look at the Halo Top, like they have just the same amount, if not more calories, but they also have more carbohydrates. Yes. So like you might get one or two grams more protein if you went and bought the Halo Top, but the Halo Top is like it's small, so it's small. And it's double the price. It's too. like $8.99. Yeah. So this is $5.99 and you get a liter, right? So to me, that's, that's a great deal. Now, what I really like to do is I like to combine things, okay? So we got Neri's famous bars. Boom. Okay, so we got Neri's bars, which are pretty much sugar-free, all natural. Um, you know, you consider these like a, a meal, right? Again, these to me are treat meals versus cheat meals. Now, I like the chocolate. Do you want to go with vanilla? I like vanilla. All right. So we're going to make Neri a vanilla. So basically, I take about a scoop, depending on the person. I like to do two at a time. You put these back. Okay. And then I take a half a Neri's bar and I literally just break it off, okay? Now you have to have the Neri's bars for at least a day in the fridge. You can't have fresh Neri's bars, but I don't think anybody's getting fresh Neri's bars except me. But they have to sit in the, they have to sit in the fridge so that they can be pulled off. And to me, these are like cookie dough, okay? So we got a little bit of cookie dough. As you can see, that was actually a quarter of a Neri's bar, but that's just enough, okay? Then I take the stevia and I salt bay it, okay? So just, right? I actually do this in my shakes as well, just for that texture. Then I take extra chocolate chips. And again, you don't need much, like maybe four to eight max. And then I take the salt and once again, I salt bay it, okay? And you don't wanna to put too, too much. Just, you know, a couple granules. Put it on top. All right, let's see how that looks. See that? Looks great. Okay, so there you go. Try, try it out, try it out. You know, I've never actually tried this before. I see RJ eat this, this every day. This is what night, I eat every day. And I've never tried it. I've never asked to try it. So there you go, show, show everybody your scoop there. So we got a chocolate chip cookie dough, we got some stevia chocolate chips, salt, and granulated stevia. It's fantastic. Right? Mm hmm I have uh, the texture of everything, the ice cream, the salt, mm -hmm. my own Neri's bars. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So you're basically getting no, no real added sugar. The total bowl consumption of, of, of sugar in there is maybe 15 grams versus if you did this same thing with cookie dough, if you did it with like, if you sprinkled in sugar, had like the full sugar ice cream, then you'd be consuming like 50 to 60 grams of sugar At easily, least, easily, yeah. easily. So um, sugar is much different than carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Sugar, your body metabolizes it and unless it utilizes it right away. So for instance, if we were to eat a big sugar bowl, the best time you would have it is before, after a workout mm -hmm. so that your mu muscles are using energy. Now, when it comes to um, if you're not, so like, let's say you're eating it late at night, like me, right? Like I'll have dinner and I'll have this and then I go to sleep within two hours my body will try and release that. So it's either gonna A, do two things. Number one, A, it's going to try and wake me up. So that's why a lot of people have bad sleeps is because they're eating sugar. And it doesn't matter what type of sugar it is, right. but if you're having a big bowl of ice cream, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter if you go to bed two hours later, your body's metabolizing it and wants to use it as energy, okay? So that's number one, it's gonna wake you up. Number two is that if it doesn't wake you up, it's gonna go into storage mode and it's gonna store it into your fat cells. Right, so your body's gonna utilize, store it as fat, and you're gonna be like, man, I'm on, I'm on point, I just have my little little treat every single night, and uh, you know, I'm working out, I'm drinking the water, I'm doing fasting, but my body fat's not dropping. Well, you could be eating too much sugar before you go to bed, mm -hmm. 
get stored as fat. So that's that's basically it in a nutshell. So if you're looking for a uh, a treat versus a cheat, then I 100% recommend picking out the Chapman's. These are the two most popular ones. They do have a maple walnut flavor, and then they also have a black licorice. Oh, no, I think it's black, black cherry. cherry. Black cherry. Both are great. Mm-hmm. Uh, so depending on your palate, me personally, I like to just keep it basic. I get a, a batch of Neri's bar, take a quarter of Neri's bar. You got your Krizda, Stevia, you got your chocolate chips, and you got your salt. Perfect treat. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, RJ, for explaining your your treat. Oh yeah. Sharing your secrets. It's all about the little hacks. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? Hello, 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 Aileen. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Aileen. Read, read story. My daughter said you're so beautiful. Aw. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs>